Okay, the next thing I want to show you is my notifications. So I tap on my notifications. Okay, so for this particular device, I have uh, the, the, the uh, notifications are turned on. And now I need to set the notification event types. So, you know, I would like to choose, say, uh, I would like to be notified anytime a door closes no matter what, and a door opens no matter what. So you can, you can see you can set these various notifications individually and save that, okay? Um, I can also set schedules of when I want to be notified and when I don't want to be notified. Um, so I just want to be notified all the time, but uh, you can set schedules in here. So if you don't set a schedule, it's assumed that you'll get notifications 24 seven. Okay. You'll also notice here that it says, notify me if any doors are left open. If I click on that, I can set for how long. So let's say, uh, you know, if any doors are left open for, let's choose five minutes. Okay. So there, I'll now get a notification if the doors are left open for five minutes, assuming I've set that type of notification turned on above. Uh, and I can also check this box here, which says automatically close any doors that are left open for five minutes. Okay, so what that'll do is not only will it notify me, it will actually close them after five minutes. Okay, or I can choose any time that I feel like. Okay, and then finally the last one is verbal notifications. So instead of a voice telling me that the door has been left open or closed, I can turn that off or uncheck it, and then I'll just get a notification sound versus a verbal notification.